Hi guys, welcome to this short video about the question if it's possible to convince ChatGPT to have another opinion on something. I've already tried this couple of times without any success and I think a lot of people are in the same situation when they get an answer from ChatGPT which is not satisfying and you are trying to convince ChatGPT to have another stance on that, then it's usually not successful. I had already a lot of discussion about ChatGPT. If it has some dynamic learning capabilities, but all the answers indicated that it does not have. I mean, it's not like hardwired. But I think the problem is that all the knowledge of ChatGPT and probably also a lot of other AI which are based on the same code, which are a lot, they are relying on all the knowledge from I think up to 2021, something like that. And so when you ask ChatGPT for data about 2022, 23 or so, they don't have any data about that. And so they are also currently not learning anymore, maybe learning about the past, but not learning things which are happening currently. And so it also doesn't have any capabilities usually to have a discussion and learn from what people are telling them. But here for the first time I had some success and it was about the discussion if it's possible for a turned off device like a mobile phone, dash cam, security camera to detect if a SIM card was removed and reinserted again during the state when it was turned off. And I asked ChatGPT in a couple of different ways and always the answer from ChatGPT if it's able for a device to detect that the answer was yes, you can see the question up here, don't have to read it again. And because I had some confusing answers, I asked to give me just a yes or no, nothing else. And ChatGPT clearly told me yes, it's possible for a turned off or powered off device to detect if a SIM card was removed and reinserted. And because I was not happy with the answer because I think it's not possible. I mean, there could be some implementation where it would be possible to detect like mechanical checks or using buffer battery or something like that. But again, I was not happy. And so I was saying, yeah, what are you serious? How can a phone do that? And in a sudden chat GPT switched and said, apologies for the confusion. Let me clarify. No, the phone will not be able to detect if a SIM card was removed and reinserted while the phone was powered off. This is crazy. So originally it gave me a yes. And after asking, hey, okay, if you say yes, then please explain. And after that, it said, no, it's not possible. <laughs> so that's amazing. So this time, instead of trying to convince chat gpt to have a different opinion i just asked yeah okay if you have this stance then explain me why you have this stance and probably because it couldn't find any explanation for that it switched to no because it was easier to explain or actually i didn't require an explanation because they probably realized that I had also the assumption that the result or the answer is a no. So maybe there are other explanations for that, but I found it pretty interesting. Would be also really interesting to learn from you what's your experience regarding ChatGPT or other AI chats. If they have other opinions on something and you want to convince them or at least just challenging their opinion on something. Yeah, if you have some similar experience, then just let us know down in the feedback area. It would be really interesting to talk about these things. And so I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you like it, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.